News Channel 5. Do you want me to answer How a How much question? did you cut the buck? I'm happy to answer the question. Have you looked at your pension? I've got to say. Uh, Mr. Pen President, have you looked at your pension? Well, the day after a much more confrontational presidential debate, the two campaigns are once again honing in on Battleground Ohio. Good evening, I'm Lee Jordan. And I'm Danita Harris. President Obama is on his way to Athens as we speak, where he'll talk to supporters at a rally at Ohio University. And meanwhile, the GOP campaign's taking a cue from the Democrats sending vice presidential candidate Paul Ryan and a special guest to Baldwin Wallace to talk to voters there. New Channel Vice Michael Baldwin was at today's rally and Michael, always an exciting event. Yeah, there was, Lee, there was definitely excitement in the air. It's not every day that you get a former Secretary of State to come, as well as a potential vice presidential candidate to come to your campus. For an appetizer, Romney Ryan supporters got to hear from former Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice. Rice, a huge Browns fan, but on this day, cheered for the home team. I got to start by saying, go Jackets. Let's, let's get it. Then it was off to business. A solid crowd at Baldwin Wallace as Rice told the faithful, the country can do better. She said we are at a crossroads and time is of the essence. When Mitt Romney and Paul Ryan say they're going to put this country back to work, this is an urgent call, not one for which we can wait another four years. And with that, the Republican VP candidate Paul Ryan stepped on stage at the Lou Higgins Center like a rock star. Ryan focused his speech on the economy, the deficit, and taxes, but he also reached out to independents, mainly women voters. Five and a half million women are still struggling for work in this economy. A half million women more are unemployed today than when President Obama was sworn in. There were plenty of college students on hand to hear Ryan speak. Some, like this group of students, went as a class learning about the political process. I thought it was really interesting just to have like a politician come to Baltimore Wallace, obviously bringing like diversity. I would say um, the debt and the deficit conversation was pretty interesting. Uh, I think he's got a, a pretty clear vision for what he wants to do. Well, I think just to see an event like this is wonderful for students to see, regardless of their political persuasions. My position is always, it's not about ha who you vote for, it's the fact that you vote. You might be wondering why Ryan stopped at Baldwin Wallace. Sutton says besides the school being located here in Northeast Ohio, it's considered more diverse politically as well. It has a lot of first-generation college students where 80% of them are working to help pay for their tuition. And Lee, the uh, Romney campaign feels that they'll be able to reach those voters. And they were urging them to go out and vote early today. And I'm sure both campaigns today are reacting to and adjusting to comments that were made during the debate last night. Well, yeah, Paul Ryan Ryan talked a lot about women today. Uh, uh, Tom Sutton said it probably is because the comment that was made by Mitt Romney yesterday during the debate talking about binders full of, of women. So they definitely want to reach those independent women voters and get them to vote for them. All right. Michael Baldwin, thanks very much.